Up next on the day beer review, we're gonna be looking at Black is Beautiful. This is an imperial stout brewed with baobab fruit and it comes in at 9.2% ABV. Check it out. Hi everybody, it's Rich and welcome to the end of the day beer review. And today we are looking at a really interesting beer. This is Black is Beautiful and this is an imperial stout that has been brewed with baobab fruit, uh, which is a fruit from Africa that um, it's supposed to have sort of a, a faint vanilla or grapefruit flavor to it, which sounds really diametrically opposed, but I'm sort of interested in that. Um, this is brewed to support justice and equality for people of color, and it is hosted by Weathered Soul Brewing Company. Now, uh, Black is Beautiful has an interesting story behind it. Um, this particular brewery, um, Weathered Souls Brewing Company came up with a recipe for this particular stout and the idea was to get as many breweries together I believe uh, to brew this and they shared the recipe which is really really interesting um, and each brewery would adjust the recipe according to their needs I guess uh, and the idea was that this would go towards uh, the profits would go towards helping people um, you know of color uh, receive funds to help them get justice and stuff like that. So this is a pretty socially conscious beer, which I'm pretty pleased with. Uh, now this particular beer I picked up uh, in a Whole Foods in New York City, and this one was produced by Montclair Brewery. Now I've had Black is Beautiful before, but it was produced by an entirely different brewery, and they focused on putting a lot of vanilla in it and I thought it was fantastic. So when I saw the label again, I was like, oh my God, I have to pick this up. But I didn't know the story behind the beer. I didn't know that uh, this was a shared recipe that literally dozens of breweries are actually making this beer and each brewery is adjusting the recipe accordingly. So while I've had it before, I've never had it by Montclair, um, Montclair Brewery. In fact, I've never actually heard of Montclair Brewery. I'm assuming that's Montclair, New Jersey. Um, yeah, it's actually uh, produced and canned by Montclair Brewery, 101 Walnut Street, Montclair, New Jersey. So I'm sort of interested to see this. There was only one four pack on the shelf at Whole Foods um, and I grabbed it right away again because I saw the label and I remembered how great the beer was and I knew I didn't do a review of it. So I'm sort of interested to see uh, if this is the beer, one, that I remember, and two, if it's not the beer I remember, how it's changed. Now, it's right up my alley, coming in at 9.2% ABV. It is a stout. I'm a fan of all of those things. Ooh, I'm getting a really heavy moldiness here. All right, let's pour and let's see what we have. And we have a very, very dark, dark brown beer here. Um... Very dark. I am using a stout glass for this. I'm hoping the stout glass. I did clean it right away. I'm hoping that yes, it's it's reasonably clean. Uh, and you'll notice it is very dark brown. It is got a tiny head, not a tremendous amount of uh, of head on it. Um, but the bar is filled with like this aroma of dark chocolate, which I'm really pleased with. Uh, and the head is dissipating really, really fast on this beer. Uh, let's see. I'm getting a ton of chocolate. I'm also getting a ton of roastiness, which I'm associate. I always associate that roasty flavor or aroma with sort of like you know coffee. Uh, the legs on this, you know, reasonably significant. It's it's definitely clinging to the side of the glass. Um, yeah, this is all chocolate and roast. Uh, I'm excited about this. I am not getting vanilla, and I remember the last time I had this, the vanilla was so heavy that it reminded me of a Bourbon County vanilla that I had had in like 2018 or something like that. So let's see how it is. Oh, that is an enjoyable nose though. Very enjoyable. All right, let's, let's try it out. That's a damn fine stout. That's what that is. Um, a lot of dark chocolate on the front end. A sweetness to it that I wasn't expecting. In fact, that sweetness is sort of, um, maybe that's the babao fruit, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I apologize to the brewer and everybody who knows how to pronounce it correctly. Um, but a lot of dark chocolate and just a hint on the back end of vanilla and 
just a little bit of that bitterness that you get with a good cup of coffee. Um, not, not bitterness like hoppiness, just sort of that roasted bitterness you get from a really good cup of dark coffee. Mm. That's fantastic. But it is totally different from the stout I remember. Here the vanilla is very in the background. Here the chocolate is very forward. The sort of coffee roastiness is very forward. Vanilla is like an almost an afterthought on the back end of this. Um, this is a different stout than the one that I tried, which is really amazing that I've tried this before, but different brewery, different recipe, and this is just fantastic. I, I mean, the base recipe is clearly outstanding. Um, it's a good, solid, basic stout with some good chocolate notes to it, some good roast notes to it. But what's even more interesting here is the way that, in this case, it's more chocolate forward, and the one I remember, and again, you know, memory is so subjective. The one I remember is really so vanilla forward that I was just amazed at it. I also have this memory of the uh, other one that I had of Black is Beautiful being sort of syrupy. This isn't light, but it's not syrupy. There's not a viscousness to it in your mouth. It, it sort of goes down really easy. And for 9.2%, you do not taste the alcohol in here. So like, cheers to Mount, Mount Claire um, Brewery. They have hid the, the alcohol in this to the point where this is one of those beers I consider dangerous. If you had two of these, you are not doing anything else. Like that's your evening. That is a really excellent beer. Um, so I gotta say, Black is Beautiful has lived up to my expectations as far as the beer goes. Um, completely different from the one that I had before, completely different from the one I've had before, even to the point where I'm pretty sure the last one I had was a 16 ounce can, like the larger can. Um, but it is very, very good. Oh, I'm just now starting to get a little bloom of warmth in my stomach, a um, little bit of alcohol, nothing major. Um, so again, Montclair did a hell of a job with this as far as getting a 9% ABV beer to taste like it has no alcohol in it at all. Um, so if you see it out there, uh, Black is Beautiful is definitely one of those beers that I know is available across the country because different breweries are doing it. You should try it out because it, one, it's a good cause. Two, which I think is even more interesting, um, you know, as far as beers go, is, is this is something that each brewery is sort of tweaking themselves. So you could try this from a dozen different breweries and get a dozen different beers, uh, all under the same heading and all supporting a pretty good cause. Um, so with that, folks, I'm going to go. Uh, if you've tried Black is Beautiful from another brewery, I'd love to hear about it uh, and what the flavor profile was, um, you know, from uh, the brewery you tried it at. And I'm going to go back, sit down, and enjoy the rest of this one. Uh, have a good night. Cheers. See you next time.